Hi, and welcome to another episode of Average Previews. Today's game is called Nine Worlds, a Vikings saga of tale. And as you can clearly see, it is a mobile port, yes. Now, let's get straight, well, first of all, it does include uh, these two. That is really important. I really don't like when games uh, put just music on or off, SFX on or off. I like when they put them on sliders so you can choose how loud you want it to be. In, without going into the Windows settings. It should be in the game. Because Windows... yeah. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's go straight in. So I have done... Uh, a whole one level. I thought actually I had done two, but... It was just an extension. Now, this is a... This is uh, your typical... 2D side-scrolling uh, action platformer of sorts. At least it has something about half of them on Steam or on PC in general don't have. It has responsive controls. When I push it the uh, key, it works. So getting hit is completely my fault. Which is always nice to see, actually. But it is a really simple game and that's fine. Your game doesn't have to be super complicated or anything. Boom! What is this? Oh. So you can also play it on a touch screen. Those actually... Funnily, those went there before when I played it on a... When I played the tutorial. Those on-screen on screen buttons went there. So that's interesting. So I guess you deserve to know more about why you are here, and what I want from you. All the good gods has, have disappeared from all the nine worlds and no one knows why. In their absence, chaos reigns. It was this chaos that caused the terrible storm in your home world. I need to investigate that what caused this. To do that I will have to travel between the realms. A fae like me is not allowed to cross into other realms unless we are in the company of a human. Silly, I know, but that is the way it works. Damn a dwarf! But no time to chit chat now. We must move on, I will tell you more later. Oh you. Yay! Two stars because I died once. And also because I took the time to read the dialogue. Yes, dialogue uh, does count into the time. Unfortunately. But the levels are short, so you can repeat them if you want. Just forgot to tell you something important. Some levels have hidden treasure rooms. If you can find them, you will get rewarded with coins and gems. I hear that such a hidden room exists on this level. Try to find it. I must hurry now. See you later. Hidden level, is, you say? Is it through here? Nope. Let's try to find it.
Let's go with this way. Like that. I guess that was the hidden uh, room. This is the hidden room. Yay, a treasure chest. Boom. That works. No. No fall damage, fortunately. Start to jump that way. Boom. I have been talking to the forest spirits about the corruption. We need to find Loki, the god of the seed and tricks. I suspect he is the one behind all this. To get to Loki, we need to travel to the realm of Nil Niflheim. The journey there is long and dark. We will have to cross the whole realm of Elfenheim to get there, so let's get going. You go on ahead, I will catch up with you. Yeah, I have to do all the work as usual. One uh, minor thing about the game is that when I'm using the controller, I'm using an Xbox One controller, the game doesn't work with the analog sticks. You have to use the D-pad. But it is a minor inconvenience because you don't really need the stick per se. But the stick is more convenient. Really is. Boom. Yay, you can uh, hit while jumping. That's new. A lot of games, uh, a lot of games tend to restrict you from uh, doing anything while you are in the air. Like jumping. A lot do that. Whoa, whoa. Jeez. I'm, I'm glad you finally caught up with me. We have a problem. We're supposed to continue down the path here, but it is blocked by a monstrous flesh-eating plant. A blood orchid. Mind helping me with that? I'm sure you can defeat it. Just be careful and watch out for when it signals its special attack. Signal, say. Eh? Let's see. Screech! Screech! Yup. Come at me. Lethal Salad. So that was a simple boss fight. Mini boss, I think. No, that's in the background, really. Wow, good job defeating the Blood Orchid. I can see that you're ready for all the challenges. One such sa challenge would be to get out our hands on the legendary axe Odin's Revenge. It is a twin to your axe and if you could will both of them, it would make you even more powerful. There is only one problem. The axe is guarded by a very dangerous monster wolf, the terrifying Fenris. They say Fenris cannot be defeated, that he is invincible. 
but I happen to know a secret about his weak spot. The Fenris are vulnerable when attacked from behind. I have heard that the Fenris prowls the woods not far from here. Let us search for him. Let us, yes. Boom. Got it. Out. No. Up just now. I can't get up there anymore. Oops. Oh well. Jump upgrade. Let me get back there then. Oh, it only worked for a few jumps. Oh well. close This way, ow. Hi. Hello there, you're making good progress, keep up the good work. On some levels you might come across an alternate gateway. A few levels I even have more than two gateways. You can recognize alternate, alternate gateways by the different colored glow they have. Most of the time these gateways lead to bonus maps. Bonus maps often have lots of treasure, so if you come across one, I suggest you enter it. Good luck. Let's check that out then. Let's move, move. Beautiful. So just a just a gold collecting level then. Oh well. The level design is kind of strange in this game. 
It's very simple. No. I think I have shown you quite a bit of this game already. It seems that it does get more challenging the further you get go. That's good. And it's a very simple game. It uh, costs five, five euros. So it isn't a lot. And I think for five euros there is a ton of content. However, however as you can see the content is fairly... Well, later on uh, they said that I'm getting a second axe, so maybe the combat uh, becomes a bit faster. Not that it needs to be, it's one shot anyway, but still. And I'm guessing the... oops. I didn't even see that treasure chest up there. for some reason. But yeah, a very basic game which uh, has... which is responsive. And the level difficulty does seem to increase every time. Let's go back to my menu then. So there are one, two, three. I can only see three levels, but the game's name is Nine Worlds, so maybe it has nine levels, but I'm going through these three first. And then uh, another three, and then another three. Probably three worlds. I don't know. Don't count on me saying that, I don't know. But there is... Um, there are 4, 8, 12 levels in each. So 12 times 3. Well, the game is a little fun. A tiny little bit of fun for you platforming fun for you. So if you... You have probably uh, made, made up your, ma your idea by now. If you would uh, like to get the game then I will have the links uh, below this video. For Steam it is 5 euros and on Android it is free. So I'll check. I'll uh, put those there. And thank you for joining me for this little video. Try to see you next time.